Hi, Kite Mason here with my second of eight videos on questions to ask yourself as you write your first book as a speaker. And building on what we had before, I want to ask you, you need to ask yourself what sort of person are they that wants to learn from you? Who are they? Where do they live? What is their ages? What's their uh, living arrangements? Do they own their own house? Are they renting? Uh, do they live on their own? Do they live with their families? Do they live with their parents? You know, all these sorts of things. And absolutely why do they want to know what you can help them with? You know, um, a, school, a school kid learning French wants to learn French probably to pass an exam. Um, somebody in later life learning French might have bought a villa out there and wants to integrate themselves with the community. So why, why do people want to learn French? What is the ultimate goal? How, is, is, you know, what is it they really want? You know, do they want to feel appreciated? Do they want to communicate better? Do they want to save money or time or effort or live a pain-free life? Or what, what, what is it? Why do they need to know? What is it? And then the final bit is like, precisely, what do you need to tell them? Um, that they need to do what what do they need to do to achieve those objectives and think about that you know because that will help steer steer what you're doing and in other sections when I've talked about research how did other people meet those requirements how did other authors get that objective met what can you learn from that how can you do it a bit better okay think about people's learning styles um, some people like to read some people like to listen some people like to watch face-to-face -face video like this it all depends and you know if you need to think about their their learning certainly with like business books and things like that audio books are particularly popular format for business books because people can listen to them while they're in the airport going from one destination to another and things like that um, some people if it's something where you're mastering something like a language a lot of those people like interaction and quizzes and they like to be asked questions and see if they know the answer to give them confidence um, and they like the positive reinforcement to encourage them to do the next chapter so think about the sort of people what motivates them what makes them learn most efficiently and most quickly and most thoroughly and think about that when you're planning your book before you even start writing it and how much resolve <laughs> has your reader got you know are they going to uh, you know do they want to lose a bit of weight in seven days or are they the sort of people who will chip away at it for six months and, and, and work really hard you know how much resolve have people got how much resource have they got are they going to spend money on solving their problem uh, you know if if you've got a book on how to keep your house clean um if your if your readers are short of cash they'll want to be using vinegar to clean their windows if they've got a lot more money they might use one of those electric steam cleaners you see advertised on the shopping channels so they're going to have different amounts of commitment and everything. So you need to bear that in mind when you're giving them advice, when you're sharing the process. And I would recommend that you pick the lowest common denominator, easiest path all the time for your processes and your techniques that you're sharing. But just bear that in mind. How can you make something as pain free and easy, cheap, quick, simple for people to follow? Because people will love you for it in your book. If you've got to the stage where you're asking yourself questions before you publish your first book, then do fill out my questionnaire. It's an opportunity for you to tell me a little bit more about your situation, the people you want to help in your experience. And I would love to hear about your plans of becoming an author and give you some advice and feedback to help take your book writing dreams to the next level. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on another one. Bye for now.